welcome to the channel friends uh, today we are going to do an in-depth breakdown of the Halo Infinite multiplayer reveal trailer um, I know this came out um, probably like a week ago or so um, but I wanted to start doing coverage of Halo Infinite now I might be the millionth person to do so um, but I'm gonna start somewhere I really want to cover Halo Infinite that's the, that's the game that I've been waiting to uh, you know cover on my channel do let's plays and how to's and grind multiplayer that kind of stuff so um, now that Halo Infinite looks a little bit more concrete uh, and not like it's gonna be a dumpster fire when it releases um, I'm actually excited to start covering it uh, so we're gonna start with the uh, gameplay reveal trailer it's like uh, let me see. it's like two and a half minutes uh, but I'm gonna we're gonna watch it at uh, quarter speed we're going to try and pick apart uh, the stuff that we see on screen. Um, plus, I've already seen the multiplayer overview. I'm going to do a breakdown of that later. Um, this is just going to be the reveal trailer, which is awesome. If you haven't seen it, um, I'm just going to link the full video uh, in the description because I can't just play the whole video. I'll probably get like copyright struck for it. So, um, if you haven't seen the if you haven't seen it in its entirety. Um, I would recommend just clicking that link. Go go watch that. Uh, come back afterwards, or don't. That's up to you. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at it. All right, got it brought up here. Um, hopefully, this setup is good for your viewing pleasure. Um, like I said, we are gonna go very slow over it. Um, this is I'm trying to do a in depth breakdown of what I see, of what I've already heard, what I'm excited for, that kind of stuff. Um, I guess I could give a small credentials. I've played every Halo except for Halo Wars. I didn't really, I don't really, I, at the time, I didn't really enjoy that. I've started to like turn-based games a lot more, um, so I may give it a try. Um, but I've played every other Halo game. Um, I've never, like, master tier level at any of them. I was pretty good at Halo 4. Five multiplayer and Halo Reach. Uh, the other ones I'm on, it was a little rough, um, but I plan to give like a like full full attention, at least 95% of my gaming attention uh, to Halo Infinite when it comes out. So hopefully nothing else cool comes out around that time, and hopefully I can finish Mass Effect Legendary Edition by then. Um, which, if you don't know, I am streaming. So catch me at Twitch, which I'll also be streaming uh, most of my Halo content unless I make like a how-to or something like that. Um, so yeah, sorry. Let's let's get into it. Let's let's start it off. There's gonna be a lot of playing and pausing. A lot. Quarter speed is really slow. There we go. Woohoo! Xbox. Oh God, that audio. No audio. <laughs> you just get to hear my voice and whatever music I put. So hopefully it's good. All right. So first thing I see here, we got tactical slide. I can't think of any Halo that there was a tactical slide in. So that's going to be new. Um, I'm assuming something along the lines of like Apex Legends, which I think it works well there. Um, throughout this entire reveal it's very clear that that it's going to be very fast paced so um some like sliding in and out of cover and stuff like that is definitely going to be warranted and then we can also see it's uh there's a small little like sidearm um so there's going to be more variety there instead of just like you know the magnum um and then there's a armor suit there's so many in this reveal it's insane We got these little in-between cinematics. Now, I don't know what they were jumping off of, but this jump gives me a... Uh... Let me fix my lights real quick. Ha-ha! Oh, now I'm orange. Anyway. The jump gives me a, uh, gives me like Black Ops, was it Black Ops 4, 5, 3 or 4 flashbacks where it was literally all about just who can jump around the most. 
So hopefully that's not the case. Um, I don't know what they were jumping off of, but they were jumping high, so they must have come, been coming off of something. Um, and then we got this nice little tactical shotgun. Um, you see it a, a few times in the uh, in the reveal. Um, definitely seems really powerful, like one or two taps um, up close. So it'll be interesting to see kind of how overpowered it is as a uh, as a shotgun because it shoots really fast. Like, in quarter speed, that's, let's see. Because in the other gun, they get, what, like, a, a burst off? That look like a burst of plasma. Uh, then we got, what is that, the C CQC helmet, very popular helmet. Um, looks like some type of uh, carabine rifle type of weapon. I, I, it's really exciting to see the comeback of a few like fan favorites like you'll see the needler here um as well as a bunch of like what it seems like new weapons um to the campaign of multiplayer um that's one thing that like it's nice to have a more variety especially when it comes to the uh multiplayer aspect the uh, arena feel that way you have more options another armor set and then looks like we got a chopper now this shot is awesome big team battle is going to be so much fun it's going to be so chaotic you got let's see so you got a rocket hog you got these uh what are they called they're, not, they're called something similar to pelicans if i remember correctly i i don't remember what these guys are called uh you got this chopper flying off of the launcher there i think a ghost comes up off of the side here I think got some air. Holy, sh holy crap! Very serious. And then we got this nice little action shot here. So uh, when I was taking my notes, I thought maybe this was a needle rifle, but I'm realizing now there's no, there's no needle sticking out of it. So it's probably a plasma rifle. That looks like an SMG. Another kind of assault rifle, uh, and that looks like a, the battle rifle, the new battle rifle. The new old battle rifle. A lot of, a lot of chaos. Running in with a shotgun and a sniper rifle. See, that's the shotgun from earlier. That was a like a that was like a one. I mean, I, I guess they were assuming they were hit before, but he definitely ran up and just shotgunned him. I, I don't think he took any damage. Or maybe it looked like his uh, shield was healing there a little bit. There's another. So there's the shotgun again. That was like a one-hit kill. So that thing's going to be a force to be reckoned with. Now, this is interesting. This is interesting. So uh, this will be covered more in the multiplayer overview breakdown. Um, but the weapons are mainly on the wall, which is pretty similar to... Uh, it might as well be similar. Instead of on the ground, they're on the wall. Um... But I, I like it. I think it, it definitely adds to the, like, feel of the battleground. Kind of reminds me of, you know, like, Black Ops Zombies. So definitely really cool there. Quick swap out. And then this thing is, like, and it, it's hard to tell. Like, this is at a quarter speed, and that's shooting pretty fast. It, it kind of looks like a, uh, like, full auto DMR. Like, it's still, like, a slow shot. Um... Let's see if we can get it in full time. Like it shoots faster than you would with it. Oh, did I speed it up? Why is it so fast? No, that's normal speed. I forgot how fast paced this one is. Yeah. So some type of full auto like DMR type rifle. It just shoots a, li a little slower than like the assault, actual like assault rifle. Uh, let's see, we'll slow it down again. And then it looks like they just threw a like recon grenade uh, or sonar grenade, something like that. Lets you see the enemy. Pretty cool. Um, they use it to huck a grenade in there, which probably should have just thrown the grenade first. Now I'm assuming they're gonna add a grenade detection. 
and maybe they just didn't add it for this person because he walked directly into the grenade. <laughs> One thing to keep in mind is I don't know that this. I mean, it looks like in in like it's gameplay. It very well could just be straight cinematic, but even if it is actual gameplay footage being used, kind of like red versus blue style uh, for the cinematic. Everything's laid out pretty cinematically. So whatever was going on here was just for that effect. Now, I don't know what this thing is. I think I saw it used later. I think it's an equipment that drops a, like, shield. Like, not, not, not like the bubble shield, but we'll see it. We'll see it later. I think that's what it is. So they picked that up. Now this, this right here is going to be that that's that's going to be the trick shot we saw it in black ops with the the one uh hero with the grappling hook we, we see it in overwatch with uh widowmaker this is going to be the trick shot and once i figure out how to do it there's going to be a how to on also how to do it if I ever in my lifetime figure out how to reliably do that at all but holy shit that's awesome now this right here you can see it's a pretty far lunge like that's a that was a far distance for that lunge and we see it uh, later too lunge seems really far now this weapon this weapon is interesting it looks really cool there's like two of them laying on the ground and it looks like you charge it up and then it like bounces off and seeks let's see it shoots it shoots another one bounces off the top and then it like seeks him out and just insta kills him so that that looks like it's going to be an interesting weapon to try and counter um we got this there's a lot going on just a really full battlefield we got hammer swing now i hope that that like drop down i hope that's an actual mechanic in the game because that look that looks really cool um kind of like some type of you know ground slam ability where you know you're jumping in the air and then you know if you swing the hammer then you'll you'll fall to the ground and do damage that'll make using the hammer probably just a little bit easier uh kind of like how he did here so I'm excited to see if that I find my mouth, is a, a thing or not. This is interesting too. It looks like another equipment is a little shield that he uh, uses to repel the plasma pistol bolt. So we'll see it again here. Yeah, he brings it up just in time, repels that back to him. So I'm curious what else that that's going to apply to. We got things like the, the fuel rod cannons, you know, rocket launchers, sniper rifle rounds that ricochet, um, grenades. Like, what what exactly are we going to be able to actually, like, hit back at another person? Uh, this is just the, the plasma bolt, but it seems like that might be fun. The timing was, I mean, cinematically was on point. So who knows how on, like, if you have to actually, like, parry it. Uh, or, or what but that seemed really cool a couple headshots here looks like like what was, what was that like two headshots and a body shot after shield was taken down which seems like a lot this is the battle rifle there's another look at that uh, shield that I think comes out of that equipment um, I, I think it, it may deploy with this here or this person shot it out because it doesn't look like they can shoot through it um, but it only covers what you can see here and then you can take out these panels like that and have a better sight on them that was a cinematic as fuck this <laughs> he looks <laughs> it wasn't there's a, there's a there's a video out there that make that is the probably the original joke for this where he just like looks down at the grenade and kills him and his buddy uh cinematically just hilarious that they are running through the shield 
This thing gets explained a little bit later. It's a little AI bean. It'll be interesting to see what all it is. More jumping. And you see just a lot of very busy battlefields. Sh stuff blowing up all over the place. Take him out. Now this... That mechanic is going to be interesting to see. Especially to see how easy it is. Like if there's a... Like what the hitbox is <laughs> on a rifle on the ground. On how easy it's going to be to actually grappling hook the gun. Um, but that's definitely useful there's a giant needle on that holy crap oh yeah that warthog just got vaccinated with that needle fucking giant needle on that and the bladed edge so probably more melee damage now that here's one thing that's gonna really suck grappling hook to get you into to, to, to take them out of the of the vehicle like if this is if you can do that for like any vehicle that's gonna be that's gonna be annoying like if you can do that to get the back to the back of a tank to plant the grenade that's gonna be annoying if you can do that to the driver's seat of a warhog that's gonna be annoying so from what I, from what I can see, what all you can do with a grappling hook, that's probably gonna be the meta. If anything, just people want to try it. So at the start, I suspect everyone's gonna be running around with a freaking grappling hook. Um, it's a lot of cinematic shots. Big, it looks like big team battle with the big, sh you know, with vehicles and stuff like that. The scorpion tank. You always know not to fly over the scorpion tank. It's a bad idea. See that shotgun again. And splattered. Nice. It looked like he barely grazed him. Whatever that weapon is. It looked like the needle weapon, but it's shooting just like red plasma. Some other form of rocket launcher. This is going to be interesting. This pelican dropping off the uh, banshee, which is kind of funny considering the banshees are covenant tech. But uh, that'll that'll be covered more in the gameplay or the sorry the multiplayer overview on their like design choice for how vehicles and stuff spawn. Um, really interesting. Um, if you want to know more, I'm going to cover the the overview as well there's another look at that plasma rifle um which they go into more depth this is just really like a you know cinematic show off the the game here cool looking banshee i'm a terrible banshee pilot so it'll be uh It'll be interesting to pull something like this off. Looks like some classic capture the flag. It's a very shiny flag. With a little trace too, so it'll probably be easy to see where they're at. Big explosion. That warhog is taking some damage. I thought it was gonna blow up too. Now this this is the most unrealistic part of the entire trailer. Are they saying we're going to be able to find teammates that actually cooperate and pick you up when you have the flag? Is that going to be a thing? You you watch it. We're going to make it a thing. Pick up your fucking guy with the flag. It starts now. <laughs> Too many times do I get left holding the bag. Waiting for my ride to show up. And they don't. Some more action shots. Don't know how that blew up. Just kind of spontaneously combusted. I 
I'm curious if they're gonna have tags, because that's what that looks like, is that you can like tag the wall. I mean, they gotta fill the battle pass with something, also covered in the uh, overview. Uh, but yes, there is gonna be a battle pass, but from the sounds of it, it's not gonna be um, exploitive, terrible. It's not bad. It, it's reminiscent of the uh, Master Chief Collection seasons and Battle Passes. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll cover it. Um, looks like that was... So... Wait, one second. Let me back up. So this looks like Oddball, I'm assuming. Which, I really hope Griffball makes a return. I freaking love Griffball. And then, so here's that little item again, I believe. That's what it'll look... I could be wrong, but it looks like it deployed the shield. It looks like it deployed with that set. So the shield just deploys. I'm, I'm curious if you can shoot through it. It it doesn't look like you can. I don't think they were taking any damage before that happened. Now, where, where did this fusion coil come from? That's one question that I had when watching this. Like, this is really cool. But where the hell did this fusion coil actually come from? Like, what launched it? You can only do so much with the fusion coils before they blow the fuck up. So where did it come from? All I'm saying. This is really cool, but... Are the fusion coils just gonna rain from the sky? Also, we were really close to that explosion. I feel like we also died. Now, this armor looks sick. Reminiscent... This reminds me of the uh, Hayabusa armor. Um, and in the overview, they said that this is going to be unlockable, I believe, even without the battle pass. Just straight unlockable. You don't have to pay for anything. So there's going to be cool skins you can get without the battle pass. The battle pass is going to give you even cooler skins. Or I should say items. Now, look at this. I was talking about this earlier. What is this knife lunge? It's like 10 feet away. The big knife lunge. Cool cinematic. And just... Uh, fucking hyped. And then we got the... This is probably one of my favorite helmets. Um, was it... You know, I say it's my favorite and I don't remember the actual name of it. Isn't it the pilot helmet? with the uh, email scratch school in it I don't know it's one of my favorite aesthetically whatever it's my favorite element um, but really cool poster now this is where I want to free to play free to play and I looked this up to confirm the multiplayer is going to be free to play That is amazing. Like, I'm genuinely blow, blown away by that. That is just, that is an amazing move. I'm really happy that they have made the multiplayer technically separate from the campaign. And they're going to make it free to play with Battle Pass. Just, oh, that makes me even more excited. See, see? so we got the campaign, which I'm also going to cover. How to's where shit is all that good stuff and free to play multiplayer with battle passes hopefully all free dlc will will I, I don't think anything was expanded upon dlc wise um but i can't i can't wait i can't wait for this to actually come out this holiday this holiday 2020 When I first saw this, I was blown away. It looks amazing. And I hope it actually is amazing. I hope we don't... I don't want to, like, hype it up like Cyberpunk was hype. Play it day one with Xbox Game Pass. Oh, you can play the campaign if you have Game Pass. That's insane. I might need to buy Game Pass so I don't have to pay that much for games. Um... 
I don't want to make this... I don't want to hype it up for myself, for anyone watching, because I just I don't want it to be another cyberpunk. But campaign aside, campaign aside, it's hard to complain about something that's free to play. The only thing that you could find to complain about is if stuff in the battle pass is like pay to win, for example. But, and they cover this in the the overview. They're they're, I don't know if they're if they're, it's cosmetic only in the battle pass. I'm not sure. I know that the most of the multiplayer is back to that arena style. Find the weapons in the arena, and use them. It's not going to be like Halo Four, uh, where you had loadouts and shit. Um, it, we'll see if it kind of is reminiscent of like Halo 5 where there's different types of weapons um, different rarities with different attachments or stuff like that um, but I willing to bet that the battle pass is going to be mainly cosmetic for the most part um, they said no loot boxes I'm getting into it a little bit We're, we'll cover the overview but no loot boxes uh, over uh, the any season pass that you buy is unlocked forever so that way you have whenever time to unlock it you just have to put progression towards a certain one like I said reminiscent of Master Chief Collection if you played that one so it's hard to complain about a free to play game for example like Fortnite it's, it's hard to actually complain about like the quality of game that is Fortnite when it's free to play however you feel about the game the quality of the game is hard to complain about when it's free to play so if, if there's anything to get excited for is is the free to play multiplayer um, yeah I don't know there's not much else to talk about um, I'll use the end here if you've made it this far um, you may have noticed my channel's been mostly like Pokemon. Um, the channel when I created it is mostly geared towards gaming. Pokemon has just kind of been like a fun side thing, um, for the most part. I'm going to continue it. It's probably going to stay on this channel until I decide otherwise. Um, but gaming is going to be the, the, the forefront, which it is a game. I know. But, um, I really want to get into covering games. How to like so, like literally the most popular videos from way back when was how to do there's two videos I did how to's for Borderlands 3 still top viewed uh, videos on my channel they've since been done away you know they're you know old content but um, I've been waiting for something like Halo Infinite to come out to cover games in the same capacity so here's my chance so hopefully it's good i really hope that it's good i really hope that i don't start it like a lot of people start to destiny and then it gets to like destiny 2 and they just don't want to cover it anymore um so yeah just stay tuned for more content um i believe i mentioned it before i stream on twitch uh i stream a lot of content on twitch that i'm too lazy to upload to youtube um, and you'll get like live stuff so um, we'll see how much of the twitch stuff will carry over to YouTube YouTube's probably gonna mainly be like how to's and stuff like that um, but if you want to catch live gameplay and stuff like that uh, head over to my twitch twitch.tv slash mr. toots links in the description um, and then yeah if you like the content please do all the the YouTube stuff um, it helps me get uh, seen by more people I know it's annoying when everyone says it but it's it's honestly how we beat the algorithm the likes comments shares that kind of stuff really helps um, especially smaller creators so um, if you like this breakdown um, stay tuned for more subscribe do all the stuff that I mentioned and uh, have a wonderful day Halo's back guys 